Hello, I have another game here. Uh, this will be a Carol Kahn defense. This was a blitz game played on the FICS. Time control was 10 minutes plus 5 seconds. The ECO code is B13. Our themes will be pawn majorities, releasing pressure in the center, attacking pawn chains at their base, and the pawn roller. Uh, I'm not going to go into many variations today. Uh, just mainly I want to stick to the theme of the game itself. I'm sure anyone who sees something that uh, might have been a better move, just let me know and I'll be more than glad to respond. So let's go to the game. I'm playing black and it's e4, c6, c4, d5, e takes d5, c takes d5, d4, and knight f6. This is the opening moves for the Panoff Bogdanic variation of the Carol Khan. Uh, knight to f3, bishop to g4, the bishop, I'm sorry, the bishop pins the knight to uh, white's queen, and c5. White's released the pressure off the center by advancing his pawn. He was earlier attacking this pawn. And now he's, by advancing the pawn, his idea of the game should be he's going to use his three pawns versus my two pawns on the queen side. He's going to, he should advance these pawns, make some exchanges, and hopefully have a passed pawn and something I'll have to deal with, and hopefully that would be enough for him to win. So that's his, his uh, plan for the game. Uh, e6, bishop to b5, check. I block with my knight at c6, e castles, a6, uh, attacking the bishop, he, he exchanges, I take with my b pawn, queen to d3, and g6. And I'm going to put my bishop at g7 with the idea that this can later put on pressure on the b4 pawn, which is the base of white's pawn chain. White plays knight e5, attacking my bishop and my undefended c pawn. I play bishop to f5, attacking his queen, and he plays queen to g3. I play queen to c8, defending my c6 pawn. I play bishop to g5, and I defend my knight with my bishop. He plays knight to d2, continuing his development. I castle. He plays queen to h4 putting more pressure on my knight. And anytime you're facing a strong attack like this, one of the ideas is to exchange attackers. So uh, with this in mind, I played knight to d7. He plays knight to, d to f3 with the idea if, if an exchange is made on e5, he would recapture with his knight and still have a strong knight centrally posted in the middle of the game board. I played f6, forking his bishop and knight. He plays knight to d7. Uh, I could have responded with either, well, I retook with the, my queen, but I could have played f takes g5, then maybe knight takes g5, h6, knight takes f8, eight takes g5, queen takes g5, and then queen to f8. And it would have been a pretty interesting game from this point forward. Uh, Black's king is more exposed than white's, so possibly you could say that maybe white has an advantage. Uh, so let's get back to the game. Queen to d7, bishop to h6, and I played bishop takes h6. Actually, the better move would have been g5. Uh, trapping the bishop, in a sense. He would have played bishop takes g5, f takes g5, queen takes g5, and king to h8. In effect, I would have had a piece for two pawns. I would have had a strong attack on the king's side. I could have brought my rooks over to support uh, an attack, along with my queen and my two bishops. So that would have been the better move, but I played bishop to h6 instead. White plays queen takes, takes h6, queen to g7, queen to e3, and rook at a to b8, moving my rook onto the only open file attacking his b2 pawn. He easily pushes it forward, b3, and now bishop to e4. And the idea of this move is I want to exchange this knight, which defends the e4 pawn, I'm sorry, the d4 pawn, which is the base of his pawn chain. 
So that's, that's this is the reasoning behind this move. He plays a3, and now I exchange the bishop for knight. He retakes with the queen. And now I play e5, attacking the base of the pawn chain. He defends with rook at f to d1. And now I change my idea of my plan. Instead of uh, capturing here at d4, I decided to use my pawn majority here on the king side to begin a pawn roller against his king. So I played e4. He plays queen to g4. I played f5. Queen to g3. Queen to f6. But a better move would have been f4, continuing the pawn roller. He would have responded queen to g4, maybe rook to f5, queen h3, and then queen to f6. But I did not play that. I played queen to f6, and he should have responded with f4, putting a stop to my uh, pawn roller, or at least slowed it down temporarily. But that's uh, not what was played. He did play b4, uh, advancing his queen side pawns. And now I corrected myself and played f4, queen g4, h5, queen to e2, and now I played queen to g5. He plays king to h1, f3, black threatens mate at g2. He plays queen to f1, defending his g2 pawn. I recapture with my, I'm sorry, I capture with my pawn. He captures with his queen. I take with my queen, and now he takes with his king. And then I played rook to f3. And this is the position I envisioned when I decided to exchange queens. What I'm looking at is black ha I'm sorry, white has four pawns that he has to defend. He's, and black really doesn't have any weaknesses at this point other than possibly his g6 pawn, which would be easily defended by his king. So this was the reasoning behind my uh, decision to exchange queens. Uh, white responds with rook to e1, rook at b to f8, rook to a2, Rook to 8 to f5, rook at a to e2, rook to d3. I decided to attack his center pawn instead of his a pawn. I think the center pawns are more valuable, and this would give me two pass pawns in the center by, by capturing the d pawn instead of the a pawn. So that was my reasoning. He plays rook to e3. And I captured one of the four pawns that I showed earlier that would be targets for my rooks. He plays king to g3. And now I play g5, shutting his king out of any of the king size squares here. He plays rook at 1 to e2, king to g7. And now he plays h4. And instead of exchanging, I push my pawn forward, g4, uh, limiting uh, his king side space even more. He plays king to g2. <coughs> I play king to g6, bringing my king up to help support my rooks and pawns. King to g3, and now I play rook to f3 check. He retreats his king. I play king to f5, and now white makes his fatal mistake. He plays rook takes f3, and I played g takes f3 check, forking king and rook, and this is where White resigned. So I hope you enjoyed the game. I hope you've seen how pawn majorities work, how I attacked his base of his pawn chain, and more importantly, I, how I used the pawn roller to push my pawns forward and bring about a decisive win for myself. I hope you enjoyed, and thank you very much.